This is adorable. The kids getting the big buzz at the spelling bee. A six-year-old making history as the first first grader ever in the competition, showing everyone what it means to be a good sport as well. Lindsay Davis has more. Just to spell it all out for you, A N. As of this morning, 45 participants remain in the Scripps National Spelling Bee, whittled down from 284. Among the bees who entered the competition this year, the first first grader. Hi to all, and hello, Dr. Bailey. Hello, Akash. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah. Inviscate. I-N-V-I-S-C-A-T-E. Inviscate. That is correct. Just check out this six-year-old practice video. E O S I S. New line of ultra microscopic yes. And then there's 11-year-old Neil Mace, who was born deaf. W E I S S N. Thanks to the technology of cochlear implants, he's able to do this. N I D E. But sometimes it's possible. L U. For even the best bees to get stung. Bacteriolytic. Neil and Akash are both out of the running to be this year's spelling bee champion. Thank you, Dr. Bailey. Akash will be remembered for redefining the word sportsmanship. Good luck to all my fellow scouts, and thank you, and bye. I hope I'll come back soon. Love him. Akash stole countless hearts yesterday. We look forward to his return next year. As for tonight's winner, the odds are one to two that he or she will come from a public school. And there's a 50-50 chance it could be a girl or a boy. Last year it was actually twins. They had girl and boy, so it was both. And here I thought the kids today, their spelling was limited to just LOL or OMG, right? right. Well, I can't even pronounce half of these words, let alone That's spell them. But such a good sport of yeah. oh, oh, He was just that. so great, yeah. especially Akash, you guys. Yeah. And the Spelling Bee Finals, guys, kicks off today at 10 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2 and then continues tonight on ESPN at 8 p.m.